Okay, we're here at Target in um, 185th Avenue, Beardson, Oregon. <clears throat> and not too much new stuff on the pegs. September of 2024. I like that car, but I don't think they're worth eight dollars. It's way too much for those cars. Only a stupid person would buy those, pay that price. But look at this. No Matchbox cars. I mean, I don't know what is going on with Target. They really ever get any new Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars in. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Those are way too expensive. Well, I noticed they did... No, no, they're still... Yeah, I think even that, that $13, they lower them. They were $17, around $17. Now they're 13 I still think they're too high, because at $13, that means it's $6.50 for each car. It's not worth that. Those cars, you know, they should be priced at between $2.50 and $3. Now they got some new Ultra Hots. I like the <clears throat> the Volkswagen Beetle, but they really cheapened that car. That car is no longer worth buying. And I'll show you why. I'm going to do an episode because I have quite a few of these cars, including the first issue, which is really nice. The Mattel Toy Company is really cheap in that car. It's crap. It's crap. Plastic chassis. Yeah. It's crap. Now this Ultra Hot, I don't have this one. And it does have a metal chassis, metal body, so... Yeah, this one's pretty nice. I'll buy this one. Yeah, you rarely ever find Hot Wheels anymore with metal chassis, metal bodies. That's nice. So, I'll buy that. That's my camera bag. I don't want to get my kid. Okay, so I'll buy that one. What we got here in Hot Wheels five packs. Uh, more garbage. We got a Hot Wheels basic lineup. Looks like all garbage. Yep, all garbage. All right, I'm here at my Fred Meyer Walker Road in Beaverton, Oregon. Let's see uh, what kind of Matchbox cars and Hot Wheels cars I can find today. Uh, hanging on the pegs. Alright. So, let's see. I think I'll look through the Matchbox cars um, first. Yeah, I'll look through the Matchbox cars first. I, I'm actually looking for certain cars. Like in the Moving Parts series, I'm looking for certain cars. I already have the Jaguar. That's actually a very nice moving parts car. Uh, I've got all these already. So what do we have in the Matchbox Collectors Series? Matchbox Collectors Series. Yeah, that Oldsmobile 442, that's going to be a peg warmer. I can already see that. Now, this car here is actually pretty nice. I have it. I already bought that car. It's actually a very nice car. I bought that one already. Okay, let's see what kind of matchbox we have hanging up today. Uh, this looks like real old stock. Real old stock. Yeah, I have a lot of these already. Seven, from last year's 70th anniversary. Yeah, I got a bunch of these already. Yeah. Back in the 90s, this Fred Meyer would get new Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars every week. Because I used to come here every week, like every Friday after I got paid and I cashed my paycheck. I would come here. This would be one of my stops. 
to see what kind of new Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars they put out. But lately, for some reason, the past few years, um, they really ever put out any new Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars. And I can tell this store right now is partial to Hot Wheels. I mean, you'll see Hot Wheels all over the place. Probably because Mattel Toy Company now owns, you know, Matchbox. So, yeah, they're pushing their Hot Wheels cars, which for the most part are absolute garbage. I see a few new cars, a few new ones, um, but they're ugly. You know, they're plastic with some metal parts. And they got the nerve. Well, these are on sale for a dollar. That's good. Well, they got to get rid of them. I mean, most of these are crap. I say at least 90% of all Hot Wheels today are low quality garbage. They're absolute garbage. I wouldn't buy any of them. In fact, I don't buy any of them. There's only certain Hot Wheels. I mean, once in a while I see a nice Hot Wheel and I'll buy it. But for the most part, yeah, these Hot Wheels, yeah, they're garbage. They're garbage. Yeah, they're garbage. Look at all this. All this fantasy crap so that Mattel Toy Company doesn't have to pay for a licensing agreement. That's why they come out with all this, this uh, fantasy garbage. Now that car there, I kind of like that car, and I don't have this one. I bought the one that's like a copper color. And this one's the first issue. It's new for 2024. So I'll buy this and I'll, I'll put it over here. And I'll show all the cars I get after, you know, after I go through all these. But yeah, most of these cars are ugly. Cheaply made. And even these, what the hell is that? Ugly car. I mean, oh my god. Ugly. Look at those. They're new Hot Wheels, but they're ugly. Look at that. Who in the hell want now? This one I might want. Because, yeah, that one's actually kind of nice. But how much they want for these? See, it doesn't tell you how much they want for these. I kind of like that one. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Okay, I'll get that one. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, yeah, I'll get that one. It's kind of cool looking. And then we have, uh, what is this? Um, a 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Another stupid gasser type car. Yeah, that's ugly. That's downright ugly. Look at that. That's ugly. It's ugly. Anybody that buys that has a taste for shit. Trust me. Taste for shit. Yeah. Ugly. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what they got in five packs. Yeah. Same old ugly, low-quality garbage. Crap. I like that one, but it's still too high. The original price was $18, now it's down to $12. It's still a little bit too high. Because that means they want $6 for the car and $6 for the truck. Now, they should only be charging about $2.50 or maybe $3 bucks for the car, $2.50, maybe $3 bucks for the truck. About $6 bucks for that set. That's what they should be charging. So anyone that pays these prices, they're a dumbass. They are. You need to stop paying these prices, okay? And then that will force Mattel Toy Company to lower their prices. Because they're just way too high. Like, I love that car. That's one of my all-time favorite cars. But that truck is absolutely ugly. I mean, oh my God. It's ugly. And what we got here? Yeah, we got some pop culture, way overpriced, five dollars and fifty-nine cents. Five dollars and fifty-nine cents for that ugly car. Come on, Mattel. I mean, oh my God. Five dollars and fifty-nine cents for that. 
Only a dumbass would pay these prices. Seriously. Only a dumbass would pay these prices. I don't understand why the lot this beautiful Lamborghini Myra, why these are peg warmers. That's an absolutely gorgeous car, and if you don't think so, you got a taste for shit. Because that's a beautiful car. I already bought it, so I don't need to buy another one. But I might actually buy another one just to have two of them. That's how much I like that car. It's a beautiful car. Okay, so what do we got here? In the sky buses, I'm looking for those rocket ships. In the SpaceX rocket ships, I can never find them. I can never find those rocket ships. Yeah. More ugly cars. I like this 5-pack. I already showed this uh, on my channel already, that one there. It's a nice 5-pack. Nice 5-pack. Okay, so what else we got? Um, no nice track sets. And he got all these dumbasses running all over town looking for treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. They're dumbasses. They're stupid. They don't realize how much time they waste at $20 an hour. Their time is, is worth money. How much gas they waste at 4 or $5 a gallon, right? And how much wear and tear they put on their vehicles. What? To maybe find a super treasure hunt that might be worth 25 bucks or 50 bucks. You spent more than that looking for the damn thing. And these people are too stupid to realize that. Yeah, they're stupid. Stupid people. Now these here, these have been hanging on these pegs for a long time. Um, I do like this car, though. I really like that one. That one I like. It's so cute. Yeah, so I'll get that one. I'll buy that one. But the rest of these, I think they've been hanging up around the pegs for a while. Yeah, they've been, they've been hanging on the pegs for a while. The rest of these. Okay, what we got over here? We got some... No, I don't like those ones that are based on the candies, you know. It makes it look so ugly and gaudy looking. Those are so ugly. Yeah, no thank you. I don't want those. What else we got? Okay, I need to look at those. They raised the price on those. Those used to be two dollars and seventy-nine cents. They're slowly raising the price on these cars, but I'm surprised that these are still here. Um, I only get them if they have a mellow bottom. Well, usually, because I also have to look at the car. Okay, custom Ford Maverick. That's actually a nice looking car. I really like that one. But the um, the car is all messed up. I want to try to get it with a straight car. Of course, when I get home, I'm going to put it in a blister pack protector. So, okay. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, I think I do want these. These are actually very nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. I'll get that one. And then we have this one here. What is that? Okay, plastic chassis, metal body. I wish they put metal chassis and bodies on these. They're going to be charging $3.59 for these. They really need to have metal chassis and metal bodies. I mean, come on, Mattel. Knock it off with all the stupid plastic. Okay, knock it off. Alrighty. Yeah. Love this car. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite cars. The 1962 Mercedes. That's a pretty car. That one's really pretty. But it too has a plastic chassis. You know? They need to make the chassis. They're going to be charging three dollars and fifty-nine cents for these. They need to make those chassis metal. That cast metal like the body. You know, knock it off with all the damn plastic. It's getting to the point where I'm not buying too many hobbles anymore, not the new ones. Because they're garbage. They're low quality garbage. 
way overpriced for what you're getting and only a dumbass would pay these prices. I may not get these cars today because they're cheaply made. They're cheaply made. Yeah, they're very cheaply made. I don't like how cheap they're made. Okay, how many cars is in this set? Okay, five cars in this set. Looks like there's only like three cars here. Why is that? You know? Yeah, I may not get these because they're not worth the money they want for them. You know, it's a plastic chassis, right? Thin metal body. I mean, they're nice looking cars. And the card art looks nice. But is that car worth $3.59? You know, I have to think about that. I'll leave them in my basket for now, but I'll be thinking about that. All right, let's see what we got here. They're only a dollar. That's what they should be. Only a dollar. Not a dollar twenty or twenty-five. You know. Uh, okay. So you notice the difference in my peg hunting videos? I'm not worried about treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, all that stupid shit that, that these, these dumb asses worry about, these amateur collectors. When you hear these words coming out of a person's mouth, case, treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, white lightning, uh, special edition, uh, limited edition, that person is an amateur die-cast collector. It's not really a, you can't really call them a die-cast collector. They're in it strictly for the resale value. They're thinking that, you know, these super treasure hunters are going to be worth so money and so much money and no. No. They're a dumbass. They waste all their time, you know, all their gas, putting wear and tear in their vehicles, running all over town looking for these super treasure hunters and these chase cars and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're stupid. Absolute I think they're mentally ill. I really do. People that do that. Whereas me, when I'm looking through the pegs, I'm actually looking for some nice cars. Nice looking cars to add to my collection. And I'll, you know, when, after I show them on my channel, I'll take them out of the package. Yes, I take them out of the package. And I put them in nice display cases with color corrected light shining on them. So I can enjoy my die cast collection, you know? Okay? And so, that's why my video, my pig hunting videos are so much better. Because you actually, I'm not quickly running through the cars just looking for treasure hunts. No. You actually get to see the individual cars. And if I see one that I think is nice, I'll pull it out, show it, I'll talk about it. You know? I like Vans, but that one... It's cheaply made and it looks stupid. Cheaply made and it looks stupid. New Jaguar. Didn't I get this one already? I think I got this one last time. I like Jaguars. It's one of my favorite cars. Yeah. But see, the, the top part is messed up. I think a lot of these came out of the bends. They need to stop you know, they need to stop putting them in those cardboard boxes of their bins, those shipper bins. It just ruins the cars, the cards, you know. And true die-cast collectors like me, um, we won't buy them. If the cards are messed up, we won't buy them. I don't, even if it's a super treasure. Well, a super treasure, treasure I'll buy because I know I can resell it to some dumbass. Like, I found one at uh, my local Winco Foods one night. I paid like a dollar and 18 cents for it. And I sold it on my local Craigslist for $55. I made good problem. Now that's the first issue of that car. I really like that car. I have one already. New for 2023. That's a real nice car. But the card's messed up on it. It's a shame because I would have bought that. I wouldn't mind having a second one. That's how much I like that car. It's a real nice car. Yeah, and these trucks, 
Um, Mattel Toy Company ruins the trucks by the way they do the roofs and the way they do the truck beds where it looks like the interior of the truck is overflowing out the rear window into the truck bed and that looks so cheap so stupid and most of the the matchbox and hot wheels trucks are done that way and because of that in general i will not buy the trucks because it makes them look like crap it really does See, I wish Mattel Toy Company would stop putting the Hot Wheels cars in those bins like that. True collectors, we won't buy them if they're in those bins because it just ruins the cards. You know, we won't buy them. We won't even look through that. So, Mattel, t t Mattel Toy Company, if you're watching this video, stop it. You'd be surprised how much money you're losing because people like me, true collectors, we will not even look through those. We will not look through you know, the crap like that, and the, and the square look of ones too. No, we hate it when you just throw the cars in like that. We, and th we don't really like them in these shippers either. We prefer them hanging up on the pegs. That protects the cards. See, this is way too tight, and, and most of these look like they're cheap, ugly looking cars. Fantasy crap, so you don't have to pay the, the licensing fee. I mean, what the hell? That would be nice. That truck there. But see how they did the truck bed? Looks like it's overflowing, you know, from the rear interior out into the bed. That looks cheaply made and ugly. I won't buy the trucks if they're made like that. And just about all the trucks now are made like that. They're ugly. Frickin' ugly. I'm not even going to go through these. They're too tight in here. They're way too tight. This shipper, for some reason, these are tight. They're normally not this tight in here, but they are. They're real tight in these shippers. See? Ugly cars. I mean, oh my god, man. These are ugly. And I guarantee you, they're going to sit here. They won't even sell them even for a dollar. Those are ugly. Look at this cheap shit. Fantasy crap. It's ugly. Look at this. Ugly crap. Mattel Toy Company, you need to stop doing that. You need to start making your Hot Wheels the way you used to make them in the 60s and 70s, early 80s. Those were nice Hot Wheels. This here, this is all shit. It is. Pardon my German. This is all shit. Look at this shit. It's shit. Yep, it's shit. Ah, damn. This is ugly shit. Ugly shit. What we got over here? More ugly shit? Yep. I don't see none of the new cases. Wait a minute. And I don't like these tune cars. These are so damn ugly. These tune cars, they're ugly and stupid. Look at this. Yeah. Hold on a minute. I might get this one. Let me look at it. See how it's made. Is that like a police car or something? Yeah, I don't like the way they made that. No, I don't like it. It's stupid. It's stupid. Mostly crap. Mostly crap. I don't like that Exorcist puke green color. What the hell, Mattel? These Hot Wheels are so cheaply made and so ugly that a lot of times they're better than x lax They make me feel like taking a shit. I'm serious. Look at this ugly shit. What the fuck is that? Ugly. And the wheels are ugly too. 
fly, leave me alone for a bitch slap your ass. Got some fly flying around me. That truck's interesting looking. It'd be a lot nicer if it had a metal chassis, you know, die cast metal chassis and body. Yeah. Look at this stupid shit. Look at that. Mattel Todd Company? What the fuck? <laughs> That's some ugly shit. Stupid, too. Man, these are ugly cars. What the hell is that one? Now, uh, I don't like the way those these new cars are being made. They're ugly looking. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these are from the big cardboard bin they had out here. It's like a square bin that looks like that. Because you can tell because all the cards are messed up. And they just jammed them in here and yeah, no. No. Wait a moment. Let me see this Batmobile. That's interesting looking. No doubt, I thought it was like, might be a treasure hunt. I mean, if I find a treasure hunt, yeah, I'm gonna buy it, I'm not stupid. But I don't go looking for them. You know, I don't go looking for them. And most serious collectors, they don't. They don't go, they don't go out of their way looking for treasure hunts or super treasure hunt cars. Only stupid people do. Anyway, that's enough at this store.